Okay, we're attempting to start this coyote tractor. It appears to have a fuel line issue or a fuel issue. Um, I suspect that the fuel is bleeding back after, or I'm losing prime after the tractor sits for a while. So we're gonna go ahead and try and attempt to start right now um, and then troubleshoot from there. Okay, so it's not starting. So the first thing I want to check is if my lift pump is supplying fuel. So we're going to pull that hose off. We're going to crank it over. We're also going to try to block it and see if it pushes fuel beyond my thumb. Yeah, this lift pump is not working. Disconnect the inlet to the lift pump. Make sure we have fuel flowing there. None of these screws on the housing are that tight at all. One of them was very loose. So I'm looking for any holes, problems with the gasket. Tears. So the top gasket looks fine to me. So here are the check valves. I think I'm going to go 
ahead and pull these out. see what's in it. Very basic. I think we're just going to clean this guy out. Okay. Put this check valve back together, or the lift pump back together. And this, these notches all line up. There's a notch in the, the housing here. The gasket has the notch. And the check valve assembly has a notch. And I know this notch is on the top or the cover side. Here's the cover. Make sure it's clean. Got to get a good seal. There's the notch here. Get a couple screws in. We're blowing on it. Air flows freely through the inlet and coming out the outlet. Now if I blow on the outlet, that has a good seal. If I try sucking on the inlet, Good, but I think it's got a little give to it. It's definitely got a little give to it. And since Maybe it's not that bad. We're going to try it. Glow plug to warm up. Now, I expect it's probably going to start. Um, the true test will be when it sits overnight if, if it bleeds back. 
So we're going to go ahead and try it now. <laughs> crack the injectors and see if we're getting any flow. Push the air out of the system. plug action gonna let that run for a while and then we'll once the battery's charged up I'll we'll park it again and we'll let it sit overnight Let's see if it starts up in the morning that's still not 
really happy with the performance of that pump. I'm thinking I might try an electric one. We'll see.